Well, hello everyone. Miss Amanda here. Today's topic is all about caterpillars and butterflies. And we're gonna learn all about their life cycle and how caterpillars transform into butterflies and all that awesome stuff. But first, we're gonna settle in for an awesome story called Being a Patient Caterpillar, written and illustrated by Ross Barash. A huge shout out to Scholastic Press for letting us share this story with you today. Without further ado, here is The Impatient Caterpillar. The Very Impatient Caterpillar, written and illustrated by Ross Barach. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're going to metamorphosize. Meta what now? Transform into butterflies. Right, right, I knew that. Wait. You're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. Wait for me! Now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis. Right, right. I knew that. What? How did you do that? Is it a spin? Or made of a twirl? Am I a butterfly yet? Ugh. Now what? Just be patient and let nature take its course. Patience. Right, right. I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No! Be patient. I have a question. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine. Ask. How's your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No! Just be patient. Shh! We're trying to metamorphosize! Okay, okay. Obviously, I know this, but do you know how long this takes? Two weeks. Right, right, two weeks. Two weeks?! Oh? What am I gonna do in here for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? What if I want a snack? Hello? Two pizzas, please. My address? A chrysalis. Hello? Hello? How long have I been in here? What if I need the bathroom? Anyone wanna play a game? Is it still day one? This is taking forever. That's it. I feel metamorphosized enough. Look out, world. Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly. How do I look? Transforms. Time to spread my wings and fly. Wait, where are my wings? Black. Time for a new approach. Okay, you can do this. You can be patient. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. Get a grip. You can. I can't. I can't. You are the little caterpillar that could. I'm the little caterpillar that couldn't. You can. I can't. You can. I can't. You can. I can't. You can. Can't. I can be patient. Patience is all in the mind. Be one with the chrysalis. Deep breath in. And out. Look, day six. I'm doing it. Just be patient. Be patient. Two weeks later. I did it! I am a butterfly! You know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I'm gonna be way more patient. That's great. Hey, where are you all going? We're migrating. Migrating. Right, right. Wait for me! Are we there yet? Ugh. I really hope you guys enjoyed that story. So now let's go into some facts about our friends, the butterflies. So our butterflies' first stage in life is a egg state. Some butterflies lay eggs on different plants, but other butterflies can only lay eggs on specific plants, like milkweeds here on Long Island. 
So next up is the caterpillar. Now at this stage, it lasts about several weeks and they spend most of their time eating and sleeping, much like how you were when you were a baby. Most caterpillars eat leaves, but a few caterpillars can actually eat insects. The next one is called the chrysalis. When a larva is grown to its full size, it seeks out the right location. The location is usually under the side of a leaf, but it can also occur on stems or nooks of tree trunks, so if you want to see one out in nature, you might want to check under some leaves or in some depressions or tree trunks. Like our very impatient caterpillar found out earlier, it can take two to three weeks before they hatch from their chrysalis. The fourth and final stage is the adult stage, and of course that butterfly cannot immediately uh, fly after coming out of its cocoon, Instead, it spends a couple minutes or a couple hours driving off in the sun and crawling around. When it's ready to fly, the butterfly can gather nectar from flowers for its food and lay more eggs, thus starting the cycle again. So let's make a caterpillar of our own. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need some paper. So I grabbed green for my leaf. Now you can make a leaf, you can make a hill, you can make a forest, you make whatever you want for your caterpillar to live. This is what I picked out. And then the other piece of paper you're going to need is actually for the color of your caterpillar. I picked blue. You can pick whatever color you want. Uh, in fact, most caterpillars are green or brown, but many can be very hairy and brightly colored. So I'm also using some googly eyes. I'm using a paper straw for the antenna. And I also have some markers to decorate with. And of course we have some scissors. And some glue. But for curved stuff, I actually like using tape a little better, and I'll show you why in a little bit. So first things first, let's get started and cut our leaf. Now the leaf does not have to be perfect in any way, shape, or form. We're just going to cut one big curve around one side, and then we're going to match it with the other side. I decided to draw some lines on my leaf as the veins. Uh, you don't have to do this. I just thought it added a cool little extra element to it. And there is my leaf all set and ready for its caterpillar friend. Now for the caterpillar, I already went and drew some lines. Parents, just for a note, um, I just used a ruler. They're probably about two inches wide, uh, which is about the width of my ruler. And I just, you know, don't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna quickly cut these up. And we're gonna cut them lengthwise, and then we're also gonna cut them in half, or else they'd be way too long. All right, so next step is we're just actually going to curl them over on themselves into a loop. Now you could use glue for this. I prefer using tape just because it's a little simpler to use on curved surfaces. There you go, right on the seam. And once again, you can use glue to attach it to your leaf, but I actually prefer using tape here as well, just making a tiny loop. Not to bat next, we're just gonna put some googly eyes on. And we're gonna draw a happy little smile on his face. And then after that, we're just gonna add our antenna, which are, for me, a paper straw that I had left over. For you guys, you can use paper, you can use uh, a Chanel stem, you can use whatever you want. Um, totally up to you. Now, of course, you can go into more detail in decorating your caterpillar, but for me, I liked him nice and clean for now. And I personally love how my caterpillar came out. I cannot wait to see how you decorate yours. And I hope you have a great day and keep an eye out for some caterpillars and some butterflies. See you soon. Bye.